Hello world, Prince here, and welcome to my channel, Gentlemen and Scholars, where we discuss life, style, personal development, and so much more. All right, so for today's topic, we're gonna be going over how to get an ex back. I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks that will give you the best chance to rekindle that former relationship. There are literally no downsides to employing these tips. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so before we jump into the video, I did wanna kind of give a brief disclaimer to say that there are some cases where it is virtually impossible to rekindle things with an ex. These are sort of gonna be those situations where maybe towards the end of the relationship, you notice things weren't going in the right direction and you sort of lost your cool. Maybe you flipped out, or just laid it on really thick your feelings towards her. Maybe you double, triple, or quadruple texted her while your feelings were high. Or maybe some other extreme case similar to the previously stated. Don't feel bad, a lot of us have lost our cool at least one time in our lives, so it's nothing to be ashamed of. There's no reason to beat yourself up over these things, but the truth is, there's just a small chance that you'll be able to reattract your ex after acting this way. The good news is, with the tips and mindset tricks that I'm about to share with you, you'll either be able to reattract that ex that you can't get off your mind, or attract a woman even better. So with that, definitely stay tuned until the end, and definitely consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell for more awesome content. All right, so for tip number one, which is definitely one of the biggest tips, that is to do nothing. More than likely, you've already done too much as it is. So assuming that you had a strong bond with your ex, maybe you guys had been dating for months and hooking up regularly, your best bet is going to be to do nothing, particularly if she's the one who forced the end of the relationship. If she forced the end of the relationship, she is the one who stopped trying to make it work. And she is the one who chose to no longer make the effort. And if you are here, obviously you want the relationship and are willing to make the effort. Thus, she is the one who has to fix it because she is the one that caused the relationship to dissolve in the first place. If you continue to reach out even after she does this, she will see you as weak and this just resets the clock on how long it will take before you hear from her again, if ever. It's just not something a guy with options, with confidence and self-respect would do. So don't be that guy. The quickest way to get your ex-girl back, oddly enough, is to do nothing. This gives her time to think and miss you. Tip number two is to work on yourself. During this time apart, you should be taking this time to work on yourself heavily. This means expanding in your job or business. This means building your social circle and also learning high income skills for your long-term success. Make sure you're hitting the gym regularly, practicing consistent grooming and developing your own personal style. In a matter of months, you'll have tangible results in all of these areas and the changes will be hard to hide. Things like these you really should be doing for yourself anyway, but odds are word of these changes will get back to her and her curiosity may cause her to reach out. It may be through social media, mutual friends, who knows? But the fact is, everyone wants to be around successful and inspiring people. Make yourself one of these people and there's a good chance that your ex might come snooping back around. All right, so tip number three is to start dating other women. Women are extremely competitive in nature. If she saw you as a six, 
she'll likely see you as a nine after being seen with a beautiful woman. It's like, oh, well, beautiful women are after this guy, so he must be a catch. But I must note, if you throw the fact that you're dating beautiful woman in your ex's face, or any woman's face for that matter, it will have a huge negative impact on their attraction for you. Women only get jealous and competitive if you're naturally dating beautiful women and genuinely happy. It can't seem fake, it must be real. And just like the last point, word should eventually get back to her that you're moving on and you might just hear from her. The only problem is there's a good chance that you might have actually moved on and are in a happy place. So that's something to note as well. Things kind of always tend to work that way in my experience. They say God has a sense of humor, right? So tip number four is to read up on female nature. In addition to the previously stated, you're going to want to read up on female nature to figure out where you went wrong and prevent these issues from reoccurring again. The goal here is really to make yourself a better catch. And if you haven't caught on yet, that's for all women, not just your ex. If other beautiful women want you, there's a good chance she'll want you too. A great place to start when it comes to understanding women is the classic book, The Mystery Method. Whether guys want to admit it or not, this is where most coaches in the pickup, dating, and relationship communities got their basic principles. I mean, if you pay close attention, you can still hear some of the coined terms in this book being mentioned freely in these communities. Full disclosure, I don't fully agree with everything mentioned in this book, but I do think it's a great place to start as it does a great job of pulling back the veil and uncovering what really sparks attraction. The next book I'd recommend is The Way of the Superior Man by David Dita. This is an excellent general mindset book, and while short, it's a great read. This book will go through what it means to be a man, and it does an excellent job of explaining how the masculine and feminine polarities work together in a balanced relationship. It sounds much more complex than it is, but it is very important to the longevity of a relationship. Just being cognizant of these principles will increase your chances of success in the long run, so these are definitely things that should not be ignored. Now the last book that I'd recommend is the classic How to Be a 3% Man by Corey Wayne. Now some people love this book while others hate it, but I really think it does a good job of tying all these concepts together in a way that can be easily understood. This book will get you results, so it's definitely a must read. Again, I don't agree with everything in any of these books, but I have found that these are the best to get a basic understanding from. Then through trial and error, you'll learn much more rapidly than the other people around you. Now for tip number five, that is to carry a slight air of reluctance. She must earn your commitment. By implementing the previously stated, this will give you the best chance of reattracting your ex back. However, it is worth noting that when she comes back, things cannot be as they were at least at first. What I mean is to go back to how the way things were between the two of you would mean totally ignoring the fact that she blew you off in the first place. This will cause her to not respect you and of course never love you. So where I'm going with this is she must prove to you that she is serious. So me personally if she reached out to me I would say hey I can't say I don't miss you, but I wasn't exactly happy with the way things left off. So what are we gonna do to make this right? There's a good chance she'll say, I don't know, what do you want? And this is where you can get creative. And how to be a 3% man, Corey Wayne suggests inviting her over three consecutive times 
before going on any more dates. The goal with this is to get your power back. Now the way that you go about it is totally up to you. Guys like alpha male strategies have their own way of going about this and I can't say that they're wrong. The big thing here is really the mindset. This is the longest and most difficult thing to obtain, but once you get it, all these things make a lot more sense. And for the last bonus tip, tip number six, that is to like and subscribe for more awesome content just like this. I often release content based around men's development as I went through and I'm still going through my own personal journey. I know how hard it can be and have been amazed by the results that I've seen in my life. So it's only right that I share the knowledge. The goal here is to build a strong community of gentlemen and scholars. So I'd love to hear from you. Are there some tips that you've used in the past to get an X back? Definitely let me know down in the comment section down below like definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell that is very important it will allow you to get notified anytime i release new content and till next time gentlemen and scholars